could you make us please an update about uh, the bioresorbable scaffolds? You had a very interesting presentation yesterday. Uh, the bioresorbable scaffolds uh, are um, really doing uh, the same job uh, as meta stains, uh, which uh, is uh, to keep the artery open, uh, but uh, following a period of time, which is usually two years, uh, they are completely reabsorbed. And this is, uh, makes sense because there is really no reason for the stent uh, to be present in the vessel wall forever. The stent is basically like a tutor, allows the vessel to heal and then there is no, uh, no advantage to have uh, the metal uh, permanently in the vessel. What are the advantages of not having the metal? The advantage is that the vessel can uh, have the motion, the pulsatile motion, which uh, is normal for any vessel. Uh, the vessel can um, vasoconstrict, become smaller, can vasodilate, becomes larger. And uh, in addition, uh, many vessels will undergo positive remodeling, which is uh, expansion of the lumen if there is any plaque inside uh, uh, which causes an occlusion. And uh, this uh, action is prevented if you have a meta stand. So I believe. Uh, that not having a permanent cage uh, on the long term uh, is, uh, is an advantage. Lastly, uh, if the patient needs bypass surgery in the future, it's much uh, better for the surgeon to be able to implant uh, a bypass uh, on a vessel without a stent uh, mm -hmm. compared to do the same on a vessel with a, with a permanent metal uh, implant. So this improves and increases the l lifetime of the patient afterwards? Uh, hopefully, uh, we don't have the data. I think we need uh, to, inc uh, to, uh, to have a follow-up at least of four or five years uh, to answer your question, but uh, at least uh, theoretically, uh, we give more options to the patient.